Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 38 of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Alright, so I think we'll just continue on here. I decided that because, well, the racing game, even though it would have gotten me achievement, it's probably not worth wasting my time. So I'm not gonna bother. Oh yeah, you think about what you want to serve to the new queen. I'm sure you'll think of something. I will give no input whatsoever, though. Hey! Have you been traveling? I haven't seen you in a while. Maybe I have. It's none of your business. Guess I gotta wait for you to step out so I can uh, maybe get some money from you. My kitten mittens ran away! No, I didn't. It's right there. I think that's Mittens. Hi. Ruby's mad at me again. How can I calm her down? Yo, Vivi! Can you do me a favor? What is it? I want you to see Ruby's play with us. Uh, sure. I like plays. Cool. Go down the staircase behind us. That's where Ruby's theater is. Bro! Looks like I'm the only one here. Blank! Don't you know why I hate it when you're late? How many times do I gotta tell you? Huh? Who are you? Strange, kinda. Hey, Vivi! Is he a friend of yours, Sinna? Hello, Uncle Sina. I'm not old enough to be your uncle. I'm younger than I look. Ha <laughs> ha You're a funny one. I like you. Wanna see my play, little fella? Um, yeah. Oh, what a sweetie. I like you even more. We'll get rolling in a minute. Sit wherever you want. I'm gonna sit on that lamp. It'll warm the coldness in my soul. <laughs> I think your plan worked. Ain't nothing to it. Blank. We'll talk later. Busted. Steiner? Yes, princess? Um... I'd like to find Sedan and talk to him. Princess! You have more important matters at hand. You live in a different world now. Uh, oh, what's happening here? Princess, it is time for you to get changed. General Beatrix, will you help her? Yes, sir. Oh, there is something I must give you, Princess. An opal? A topaz, and an amethyst. Those stones contain your power, which Queen, Queen Braun forcibly... Well, that is all in the past. And yet you brought it up. Master Steiner. Master Steiner, do you intend to stay here and watch? No, I am not... I excuse me. Oh, he's still as dense as ever. Why does your hair, like, blow around or indoors? Beatrix! I'd like to see Zidane. Please? Now may not be a good time. Even you agree with Steiner! Your Highness! I know. It's okay. Looks like security's pretty lax. With Dagger out of the picture, now's my chance to win Zidane's heart. First, I'll write him a love letter. I'm gonna make it the most romantic letter ever written.
Becoming a queen may place quite a burden on Princess Garnet. But she must persevere. The people of Alexandria are watching. He looks pretty smart. Hey, you look like the bookish type. <laughs> what gives you that impression? You really want me to explain? Oh, yes. I'm very curious. Where should I start? First, your beard. Second, your nerdy hat. Third, your thick eyeglasses. All sons of a nerdy philosopher. Ha <laughs> ha! You don't hold back, do you? Hey, are you a writer? Well, yes. I did make my living as a writer for a while. Will you help me write a letter? A letter? Gladly, if you think I can be of assistance. Okay then, follow me. She walks very funny side angle wise. That girl has a horn. That horn. Yeah, I suppose Dr. Todd does know about the Summoner tribe. I had completely forgotten about it until now. I've never been as surprised as I was that day. A ship drifted ashore after a storm. Inside the ship were a woman and a baby girl. The woman was dead, but the girl was still breathing. Imagine my surprise as I looked into the girl's face. Because the girl looked exactly like Princess Garnet, who had just passed away. Wait, Princess Garnet passed away? With one exception. She had a horn! A human with a horn! Where had she come from? The king ordered the girl's horn removed. The girl cried out in pain. He and his wife, Queen Bronn, decided to raise the girl as Princess Garnet. That girl who spoke to me, could she be related to Princess Garnet? Will you hurry up? Oh, excuse me. Princess, you look splendid. Thank you. By the way, there is something I must tell you, Beatrix. Yes, Princess? I am not my mother's, I mean... Queen Braun is not my real mother. What gave that away? <laughs> Princess Garnet. Dr. Todd has already informed us. However, my allegiance to you remains the same, if not stronger. Beatrix. Thank you. It's finished! Saddam will fall in love with me the instant he reads this letter. Thanks, mister. <laughs> it was my pleasure, my lady. Oh, I forgot to tell you. My name is Aiko. I'm from a day in Surrey. I hope to see you again. Bye-bye. From a day in Surrey? Dan Surrey is the village of summoners. I thought it was only a legend. What could this mean? Where am I going? Sedan's in town. Should I go upstairs then? Oh, okay. I guess I'll go this. No, I won't go this way. So let's go over here. Oh, I can't wait to hand this letter to Sedan. Where'd he go, anyway? Hark! Ah! Help! Hey! Are you okay? I can't breathe! Sorry, I didn't see you jump out. But you're too high up. I can't get you down. 
<laughs> Stop laughing, you poop! Oh, shoot. My letter. Hey, if you can't get me down, deliver that letter to Zidon. Alright? To Zidon? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Burns the letter right in front of her. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know, just hang around. Hey! The boat ain't here! Castle patrol, completed! Huh? Why, if it isn't Baku, the leader of Tantalus! Who just called my name? Oh, it's you. Should we capture him? No, he saved my life. You may go. I will handle this. Yes, sir! Ain't such a knucklehead anymore, huh? Silence! This is no place for thieves. You must leave, now! So that's how it is, huh? Do I gotta remind you that one of my boys saved your kingdom? But I bet you ain't got no ears for listening to a low life like me. Are you talking about Zidane? Yes, he did protect the princess and her kingdom. But that doesn't change the fact that you are all thieves. I cannot let your kind roam about the castle. No appreciation whatsoever, eh? Well, I don't got any reason to stay here anyway. Hey, you know where Zidane might be? He hasn't visited the castle since we've returned. Maybe he can teach you a thing or two of proper manners. Okay, I get your point. I've had enough of your self-righteousness. <laughs> Perfect timing. Well, he left the letter. Take me into town. I thought you wanted him to leave. <laughs> So it was Steiner. I thought I heard him yelling. Huh. Alexandria is at peace again. Yet my heart is full of sorrow. Why? Hmm? Steiner must have dropped this. Let's see. When the night sky wears the moon as its pendant, I shall await you at the dock. What is this letter? Did Steiner... Write me a love letter? Steiner. I go didn't even write Zidane's name or hers on this. <laughs> Dagger! Are you all cozy on your throne already? No. No, no, no! I can't start my day without Dagger. Her smile. Her voice. Her voice is like a beautiful song. And her song makes me soar high into the sky. But now... You can still fly high, darling. Sidon, you can do it. She's right. Why are you still moping? This isn't like you at all. Yeah. Stop it! You don't understand how I feel. Whoa! Long time no see, Sidon. What happened? You look pathetic. Boss, let me join Tantalus again. We can still treasure together, just like old times. Treasure, eh? There ain't much treasure lying around this world, boy. Besides, a 
Tantalus always gets what he sets his eyes on. That's our rule number one, remember? No, you don't. You've got no right to join us. You understand what I'm saying? If you can't even capture a canary, you ain't got what it takes to join Tantalus. Boss. Hey, Zidane. Can we go see Dagger? <laughs> Why can't you be more honest? Like this little guy. He has no concept of emotion as much as humans do, that's why. Can we? Can we? Please? Alright. Let's cheer her on before she becomes a queen. Yeah! Alright, so I guess it's just the two of us bros. I forgot. <laughs> Darn! I forgot to give Zidane that letter! Huh? 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 <laughs> I lost it! Not well, so much for the canary argument. Alright, I should probably go this way. Let's uh, head on out. It's the best way to get to the castle. Might as well take a look around the mini theater. I'm Ashley! I run this mini theater with Ruby. Nice to meet you. Oh, there's something over here. 2680 gil! Damn, that's a lot of money. Oh, you're one to talk, Ruby. Oh no, Ruby's mad! It's gonna be a long wait. What is she even mad about? You should stay away from Ruby for a while. Is there anything we can do? No. She doesn't look that mad, she just looks tired. Alright, let's go take a look around the dock. I wonder if I can just take a boat. I've seen a map of the sea until now, but lately I've been considering piloting airships. Regent Sin of Limblum invented an airship that can fly without the mist. Can you believe that? I wonder if they'll let me on that airship when I go to Lindblom. Probably not. I don't know what to serve after the new Queen's coronation festivities. Oh, I wish the chef that cooked for Princess Garnet's birthday party would come back. Where is he anyway? Or she? Oh. Do you know anything about Regent Shij's wife? Regent Shij's wife is a very stubborn woman. Oh, you're one for words? Okay, maybe I should just go the other way. Because there was nothing here. Maybe I gotta go up here. This should be the way to the castle. That's it on. Doesn't even stop by to say hello. What are you staring at? Are you really that tough? Try me! I don't go looking for trouble. But I'll fight back if trouble finds me. Why don't you apologize and maybe I'll forgive you? Stop right now, or I'll charge both of you with disorderly conduct. Hey, what's going on here? Sedan! I'd like to stop and talk, but I'm busy right now. Is she a friend of yours? Then tell her who I am. Tell her I'm the flaming Amaranth. Sorry, Amaranth. She's just a little worked up about something. Sorry, babe. They're my friends. Will you let them go for my sake? Sure. Princess Scarlet asks us to give special treatment to you, Master Vivi, and Miss Freya. Dagger. Uh, I see. Thanks. 
Hey, Freya, stop being so mad, alright? Yeah, dismiss your actual emotions. Do you know why I'm really mad? It's because of you! Where have you been? Dagger is about to become queen, and you're off wandering about. Have you found out anything more about Kuja? Well, answer me! Um... Well, I try to find out more info, but... Look, if Kuja was responsible for taking Dagger's idolins... ...and killing Bronn, who was working with him... ...don't you think he'd come after Dagger again? I know. But what can I do? I couldn't even talk to her, remember? I don't even know if I can protect her. Besides, she's gonna be queen. She'll have all the guards she'll need. She won't need me. But Zidane, I think Dagger wants to see you. So, let's go see her. Yeah. But we'll leave as soon as we're done. Zidane. You're not getting away from me. You still owe me a rematch. Suit yourself. Okay, I can probably take that boat to get over there. But... What can these uh, stones do for me? Okay, so... Kind of awful, did I? There it is. Is Blazara and Shiva. Okay, that's pretty good. Amethyst has Atomos and Demi. And the, um... Topaz, I think, was the next one. Ifrit and Fyra. Oh, Vivi already has Demi. That's right. So these other stones are not going to benefit us at all. Well, the diamond would benefit Freya. But I want to keep the emerald just to learn, uh, weight draw. You can reach the castle on the boat. I think we'll do... maybe we should do a little bit more shopping. Can I do shopping here? There are strange men hanging around my shop. That's a weird thing to say about a, to a customer. There's an ice lance. Buy two. Uh, what else should I, should I buy? Should I buy a Lamia's flute? I'll buy two of those. Uh, pinwheels are just throwing weapons. Now we get to the armor. Is the armor worth it? Buy four twist headbands. Another barbo just in case. Did I have gold helm? Well, I guess Freya's wearing it. I should get another just for somebody else. Playmail is new. Buy three. And only Freya can equip the plate mail. Oh, that can teach you locomotion. Come on, baby. Do it. <laughs> oh, this also gets me white draw. So I can probably switch one of my, uh, stones. It's been a while since I had Freya in the party, so it looks like a lot of this stuff I'm gonna have to relearn. Or old equipment is gonna have to go to her. Gamble defense is a new one. I don't think we've ever had that before. Uh, should we update everyone else's equipment? I forgot that we, the reason why we didn't have gamble defense is because we only got the twist headbands now. Well, you still haven't learned return magic yet. Please get to work on that, Amaranth. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. 
you can't get gamble defense at all. But I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> I don't think Vivi should be gambling defense. It's already pretty bad. Oh, now we can go synthesize. Angel Bless? Oh, that's a new one. Let's make one. Magician robes? I can only make one, unfortunately. So I need more mage staffs. Which I don't have. And the dance ring, I don't think I'm gonna worry about. Because I think Aiko is wearing it? I'm not sure. Apparently, fairy earrings can actually be made using a consumable item. That's a rarity. Hmm. Guess I can probably make an anklet. I can only make one. Let's make another Medan's ring, just so I can make a Reflect ring. Feather boots are new. Pearl Rouge. Um... It looks pretty cool. But I have to give up my Moonstone. I don't know if that's a good idea. Angel Bless teaches me thievery. What is thievery? Well, it's one of these abilities, so... Deals physical damage to the target. That doesn't really explain much, but thanks. What does the Reflect Ring teach me? Well, Feather Boots is pretty good for Auto Float. That'll be great against Earthquake Foes. And that's Auto Reflect. Also teaches Distract and the Reflect spell. Magician Rome is okay. You know, it's better than what Vivi has now. So why don't you wear that? You put on the feather boots. Um, let's go save. Because we collected a very bit of shopping. Might as well, uh, save after all that, and then we'll head over to the castle. At least I know where the save room is. Just go over to the steeple. Behold all the little Moogle people. <laughs> Alright, so that was a pretty good run. Let's stop here, and in the next part, we'll head over to the castle and see the new queen. See everybody, thanks for watching.